Hey there, my name is Alex, I am the Silvermont, and this is a video about the characters in Naraka Blade Point. And disclaimer time, this is a sponsored video. I was given a copy of the game by the developers too. And anyway, so what we're going to do today, we're going to show the, well, we're going to show the names and the looks of each character, of course, and we'll talk a little about their abilities. And we're also going to show the uh, Chinese names, because some of the characters have different names in Chinese, and, uh, well, I always find that interesting when names get translated differently. And as it happens, I just so happen to have a native Chinese speaker here with me. Hi, I'm UK. UK? UK. UK. Not, not UK, that's the country. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in the UK. But you are Yuki. Okay, I'm Yuki. Yep, and uh, well, as you speak Chinese, we'll have you uh, read these Chinese characters for us. And well, let's start with the first character, the sort of flagship character of Naraka, Viper Ning. Ning Hongye. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think Ning is a surname, and uh, Hongye means mm, red knight. Red knight. Yeah. yeah, she's a very red character. I mean, she even has like the, the red string of fate going through her giant ponytail here. And she's looking at a flower even though she's blindfolded and she can't see the flower, but... I think she got some power from nighttime, maybe. Maybe. Maybe she can smell the flower too. It looks very pungent. As for her abilities, um, well, she's not quite a debuffer, but she's a bit like a debuffer. And uh, she's really good in the showdown mode because she can more or less instantly destroy the kind of big shields that the enemies get. Anyway, moving on, we have Temok in the uh, English one, although I probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, the Chinese name is Temuar. Um, this is a very unique name. Mm. It's um, not like an ethnic Han name. No, it's more like a Mongolian. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he definitely looks Mongolian with, uh, well, the braided hair, the sort of maybe horse hide belt and headband and I'm assuming those are like some sort of do you think that's tattoos or just like paint like war paint mm, I'm not sure maybe paint but uh yeah he's um he's an interesting character he can use these sand abilities and uh he can make a big what we call like a sand storm or a zephyr prison as they call it here support control so he's um, a good team player but he works all right by himself too, I would say. Anyway, moving on, we have the first character whose name is notably different. In English, it's Matari, and in Chinese, it is... Um, Jia Nan. Jia is... Um, I, I don't think it's a Chinese surname. I've, I've never seen a It's quite surname. a unique name then. Yeah. Mm. Nan is a, just like a sword. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what sort of... Uh, I don't know, because I mean, these two, well, Chinese clearly, probably Mongolian. I'm not sure about Matari. I mean, if you know, well, let me know down in the comments. Maybe she's going to be Mongolian too, because it says she's uh, her skills honed by the desert storms. So maybe these two characters are both meant to be from like the, you know, the northern deserts and like that sort of area near China, you know? Maybe. Maybe. Then we have Takaji, who's a uh, Chinese name. Ji Chang Hai. If I translate the name, it's like a Chang Hai Ji. Hmm. Oh, not Chang Hai. Something with the ocean? Oh, yeah. yeah. Chang Hai is mm, the ocean. Which is funny because he's. Well, his hand is on fire. But as you can see, he's but all about. He is on the ocean. Well, they're, they're all here. That's just like the background. It's like a fancy background to put the oh, characters yeah. on. Yeah, he's all about damage and mobility, although also his, uh, well, ability, aside from his mobility, is uh, defense. It's a block any hit coming. But then his ultimate is just a sort of uh, improves all of his skills and like stats and everything. And yes, you can, as you level the characters up, you can unlock uh, variations of their skills. I like Giga Flame, that's a good name. Shoot a huge fireball. Yeah, you can never go wrong with a huge fireball. Anyway. Moving on, we have Kurumi, which I think is supposed to be a Japanese name, I believe. Tuyu Man Hu Tao. Oh, such a long name. Yeah. 
Her name's especially because it's like the the English versions Kurumi, and then we have like one, two, three, four, five characters in her Chinese name Hu Tao. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call her. Yeah, <laughs> I think it, <laughs> like I a certain、uh, funeral director who will go otherwise unnamed. Anyway, her abilities. She's our first healer. She's um, I might put it in the wrong language. She's like your. More standard sort of healer. She can link to another character on her team, restoring health to them. She can move to them, and her ultimate is she puts down a big healing circle. So,、um, a basic healer in some sense, but always nice to have a healer on your team, especially if you have a guy like Tianhai punching you in the face. Hmm. You you pronounce the Chinese. The... Uh, name too. Yeah, well, he's the first character I think whose name is identical in Chinese and English. Yeah, Chinese Tianhai and English Tianhai. Tianhai, yeah. yeah so the Tian same. Tian is the, the sky, Hai is ocean. Okay, sky ocean, which makes sense for a sort of a Buddhist monk kind of guy. I'm assuming that's what he is, considering his ultimate ability. He transforms into Vajra, a Vajra, and he can grow massive. He gets extra arms. He can punch people. He can grab them and throw them. It's um, it's pretty fun. His、uh, standard skill is just a kind of defensive thing, kind of like、uh, Takagi's, although not exactly the same. But、uh, well, he's alright, I suppose. Anyway, moving on, we have、uh, definitely a Japanese-themed character, Yoto Hime. Yao Dao Ji. Yao Dao is like a demon sword. G, um, I think is for ladies.、Mm. Name, which makes sense as, as you can see, she's holding a very big sword, and it is kind of like a demon sword, you could say. Her、um, ability, she throws the sword, and then it will sort of spin where she throws it, and you can teleport to it. So you've got a lot of utility with that. And her ultimate,、um, well, she gets like she jumps into the air, and she does three slow but very powerful swings that you can manually aim. They do a lot of damage. And、um, she's she's good, and as you can see, she's also immune to certain crowd controls during that state. And she has a massive hat, and、uh, I think she's kind of themed after maybe like the Meiji period in Japan, Japanese history, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Anyway, moving on, we have Fauda Tsui Kui, something like that. <laughs> It's a Tsui Tsui Sanyang. Hmm, and uh, uh, Tsui is. The surname, I believe, uh, Sanyang. Um,、mm, I guess this girl is the third girl in her family.、Mm. So, and、uh, more like a like old time name. It's like、yeah. a very old fashioned name. Yeah, old fashioned name. Yeah, and she's like a sort of a crowd control and damage dealer, you might say, which I suppose is fitting for sort of a piratey kind of character. Not sure she's meant to be Chinese. I. I'm assuming probably, but we don't know. This character definitely Chinese, as his name is the same in both. Yue Shan. Yue Shan. Hmm. The、uh, invincible, almighty general guy. And、yeah. his name is something to do with like a mountain, right? Yes, you are right. Yes. It's almost like we、uh, did this once before, but the recording didn't work, so we have to do it again. <laughs> so I already know some things, huh? Mm -hmm. Anyway, his his abilities are good. He's、uh, as you can see, he's fairly well rounded. His、uh, stand ability simple, just a dash which、um, repels enemies, but very useful, not to be underestimated. And his ultimate is he transforms into the Almighty General, the War God, with terracotta armor, and he gets some like unique attacks and、uh, just becomes stronger really in general. He's um that's a very A very good sort of kit, I think. Anyway, moving on, we have another character whose name I believe is the same in both, Wu Chen. Wu Chen. Hmm. Now、oh, you've pronounced good. Ah,、uh, I don't know about that, but I try. And he has his giant calligraphy brush, and、um, there was nothing too interesting about his name, was there? Hmm. Yeah, it's like a uh, no dust. No dust. No dust. It's a very fancy name. Yeah, very、no、fancy,、dust. like a god, <laughs> yeah, or, or someone who is、uh, trying to be a god, like an enlightened Taoist or something, <laughs> like a mystic who can、mm. use magic, and he can use magic 
in a sense. He um he can use spirit blades. He's uh he's an interesting character. As you can see, he's like mobility in support, and he's quite they rate him one of the most difficult characters to play, I think. Are there any other four stars we looked at yet? Oh, Takaji is five star. But yeah, this guy and Takaji uh considered by the game to be more complex characters but he's a he's a good team player teleported ally units with at least 80% health gain a 30 second attack buff whereas if they have less than 80% health they gain damage resistance so pretty pretty well-rounded support character and moving on we have Gu Qinghan Qinghan Gu Qinghan Gu yeah Gu is the surname Mm. Who is the surname? Because in English, her name is just uh, similar but different. It's Justina Gu. So maybe that's just the name she uses when she's going to English-speaking countries. <laughs> when she's doing business with uh, foreigners, she says, Hi, I'm Justina. <laughs> because maybe... Well, what was her other name? Qinghan. Yeah, because... Qinghan is like a, something cold. That makes sense because she's an ice character. Clear and cold. Mm. Because if she's speaking to uh, like a foreigner like me, she'd say, Hi, I'm that name. And I'd be like, Hi, I'm now going to butcher your name. So she goes, Okay, just calling me Justina. Because I can <laughs> pronounce that. But yeah, she's um, she's an ice character. Her ability is an ice block. So you can use that to um, encase yourself in ice and uh, avoid any big hits that you know might be coming your way. And her ultimate, um, well, a big icy knockback, which also increases your attack and gives you some unique attacks so she's probably a very useful uh all-rounder especially for teams or solo i imagine she's it says she's difficult but i bet she's one of the more versatile characters anyway next up we have takeda nobutada absolutely a um japanese themed character Wu Tian Xin Zhong. Mm, being his chinese name and he uses a sort of well his ultimate is calling upon the powers of a demonic spirit he unleashes it and uh he's parts of him make me think like a berserker kind of character because he has big damage big survival and a little bit of control as you can see and some self-healing so very berserker e then we have Yin Ping Yin yeah Yin Zi Ping Yin Zi Ping yeah, where he... again just like Justina Gu the surname comes first in Chinese mm -hmm. mm. And uh, she is another healer, but she's a little bit different from our first healer. So the first healer, she directly links to another character to heal them. Whereas uh, Yin here, she puts down like a plant, you could say, like a twig. And then people, when they touch it, then they'll heal. So it needs a bit more coordination from the team, but still very useful. Because it gives you a damage, well, a defense buff, you might say. And her ultimate is restores health of all allies by constantly consuming rage. And it also can let you survive one fatal attack, knocking enemies nearby. So that'd be useful. She's more of like a, a counter healer versus a preventative healer. So she might be a bit harder to use than the other healer. Although the game so suggests healer. otherwise. The game thinks Kurumi is more complex. But... um. Well, that's just how I look at it. <laughs> I just know that her voice actor's name is Angel Lin. And uh, finally, we have... Shen Miao. Yes, Miao Miao the cat. And uh, her English name is Ferrier Shen. And um, what well, she uses sort of a gun knockback on her uh, ability where she jumps backwards, so it's like repositioning. And her ultimate is cooling down a mech. Because why wouldn't you call down a mech? It's um, it's an interesting mech because it doesn't look super high tech. It looks like a ancient fantasy mech is the best way I can think to describe it. But it's good. You can jump and uh, you can't fly, but you can glide and like dash in the air. You have like a machine gun, a cannons, and it lasts for a decent amount of time. It's um, it's really fun to use too, which is why she's the first character I unlocked. But yes, that is all the characters they have in Naraka at the moment. I imagine they'll be adding more. They added Ferrier Shen pretty recently, so I'm sure in the coming months we'll be seeing even more characters. But um, yeah, I think my favorite characters are probably 
uh, Yotohime, Yueshan, and Fairy Yashan, just because she's fun to play. How about you? <laughs> oh, my favorite one is uh, Qing Han Gu. Guess which one? Yes, here. Yeah. And you, <laughs> yeah. why do you like her? Uh, she she's pretty and she, uh, she looks smart. Pretty and smart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those are two good things. How about um, favorite guy character? My favorite guy character is uh, the fighting god. Yeah. Yue Shan. Yeah. Yeah, he looks cool. Yeah. He's one of my favorites too. She looks like a, a general. Yeah. General. He's a. Uh, He's got like the same sort of weapon Lu Bu had. Well, mm -hmm. almost. It's like a pole arm. It's uh, like Lu Bu's, uh, what is it, like sky splitting halberd or something like that. Uh, he looks like uh, in, he's good at fighting, but why the difficulty is only two and a half? Um, it's, it's like how complex he is to play. Oh. So, it's like some characters, they're more complicated to use because of how their abilities work, whereas other ones are very simple. Okay. Never oh. mind, but this face is still my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, any any others that you liked? Mm, my second uh, female one mm. is uh, the captain girl. Pirate lady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, she has fishes. Very fish. cool and, uh, mm, you know, magical. <laughs> mm. So... Pretty girl and cool girl, cool girl. basically. Yeah, okay. I got a second guy. Okay, who's that? You must take a guess. I must guess. Well, I already know who you're gonna say because we we did that last <laughs> time. <laughs> <Don't say> that. <laughs> and last time I guessed basically every guy. <laughs> I, I guessed everyone apart from him, and then my last guess would have been Tian Hai. Sorry, Tian Hai, but uh, <laughs> this guy. And uh, I feel why did you like him again? Mm, sexy. Sexy guy. <laughs> and I, I, he, he got a style, you know. He's got a style. <laughs> yeah, he, he does stand out a bit from the other guys. He's very... He looks very bold. And he's, like, not afraid to fight with his uh, chest exposed. Which yeah. would kind of hurt if someone slapped him or slashed him there. But, well, that's the uh, characters for now in Naraka Blade Point. And thank you so much for watching, and uh, well, I guess we'll catch you next time. Ciao. Bye.